G'day guys, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2. This is part 11 of our High Elf series and it's been a long time since I've played this series. It's been about two or three weeks. I think two weeks since I've actually played this. So we're coming back to it and we're going to keep going. Uh, the plan at the moment was, I believe, we were just going to let the Chaos attack down here in the south. Give them a chance at attacking the city just so we get a good battle out of it. And then we're going to continue attack and go after Tyranok. Um, we're 71 turns in, which is actually quite a lot, and we've achieved nothing. Um, I've actually done another couple of series since playing this, and yeah, we're actually going really slow in this series, but yeah, we'll get there. Um, also, the new DLC has been released, like the Blood Pack has been released, and you can now play the Grand Campaign, where you play with both the pa Warhammer 1 and War um, Warhammer 2 maps, and they're just taking like a, the center section out of it. And you can just do a giant campaign, which we might do that as well. But for now, uh, we're just going to bring my army down a bit. Just in case they mi mir miraculously win this battle, if I could speak. Uh, we'll be able to just retake the city. I've only got to hold it for six turns. There's seven turns until the city runs out of supply. So, yeah. Hope just let them attack me, hopefully. Um, see what happens. Also, I've learnt that these white line... Guys, a shit house. They need to go. I have way too many archers in my army. This is a really bad composition. We should fix it, and we will. But for now, we're just going to continue going along, seeing if there's anything I need to build. There's a lot of things I need to build. Um, I need more of everything. But what do we need most of? I've got that building. I don't need tradable resources. I should be doing a p bunch of democracy diplomacy. I want to say democracy stuff as well. Uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? Public order and income or just income? Uh, public order is good, but is that because of a national thing? Can't remember what I was doing. Yes, we've got plus six public order, so that needs to become public order. Over here. Uh, you'll be fine. Got the city as well. Public order is okay, though. Alright, do an end turn. I don't know why this army is in force march inside the city. That's bad. Come on, the lizard men. I know we screwed the lizard men over severely. Which was fun. I regret nothing. And we lost our intervention army. Non aggression pact with who? It's, um. No, that's not really worth it to me. I need to in start integrating. I don't remember if I was actually even remembered how, that it was part of the game when I was playing this series. But yeah, we need to start integrating armies and stuff like that. I really want to play as the vampires and come and attack the new world as the vampires. That'd be cool. I'd call this the new world and the other one's the old world, even though I think both technically they're part of the old world. I don't know. Anyway, this could be a fun battle. Or it could not be a fun battle. Great. Good. Anyway, we're slightly ahead of the Dark Elves. So we're just going to try and stay ahead. Tech researched. It's awesome. Faction destroyed. High elf intervention army's gone. Vessels of chaos are dead. What are you guys called? These are the puppets of chaos, I think. Are you the puppets of chaos? Never. I don't know. Whatever. You're, you're whoever you are. Okay. One thing we do, we need to make sure we always go around and get the ships. Get a lot of money from getting those ships. Now, as for this, um, it's going to send you to the town. Still got five turns. I mean, we don't. We have to be aggressive, but we don't have to be super aggressive. On a harder difficulty, we might have to be more aggressive. But we don't even have to probably leave this island, and we could probably win the game. I think. I'm not going to spawn another intervention army. Well, actually, I might. There's no harm in doing it. Let's. Just Spawn a ten thousand dollar intervention army. Yes. Corn 
Clan War on the Druki, or the Dark Elves. And we're gonna spawn an Intervention Army to screw them over. May not have been my best idea, but that might be fun. Um, as for this army, I can't recruit because my buildings are under siege, so there's nothing I can do with you. What do we got? Research wise, oh wow, we've got no research either. Um, upgrade, uh, I don't know, we've done a bit of research. Martial law, um, don't need that, don't need that. Great Eagle units are bad, but Phoenixes are good. I've learned that much playing other campaigns. Might just do uh, upkeep for archers. Do that. Okay, another end turn. I want this great battle. This could be fun. They've got no choice. They have to attack. They can't siege me out of the city. Easy intervention army. Ooh, and we ran straight into one of their armies. That's unfortunate. They're not going to win that. Unless we spawn another intervention army. They're sieging. I wonder if we can spawn two. I mean, they could spawn an intervention army on me. That would really be fun. And I need to do some diplomacy. Come on. Come on. Put it on fast forward. Fast forward actually helps. The gods are Faction destroyed. Warband of the Hound. Okay. Uh... I'm going to spawn another intervention army, or can't I? Okay, you're going to do one at a time, or one every five turns. Okay. I mean, we could attack here. I don't know, would that be a fun battle if we attack them, or would we, a city siege battle be better? How long have we got? Uh, five turns till we run out of supplies. I don't know if they're going to... I really want to unsiege my city. Uh, we'll just move a bit closer, and then next turn we can attack them if need be. Maybe that'll encourage them to attack. Um, we've got an upgrade from my lord. Uh, what were we doing? Upkeep for armies. Let's keep going with that one. Okay. Another end turn. I think they should be motivated enough to attack. Ah, oh, damn, I didn't do the diplomacy again. I'm really bad at this. Next campaign will turn up the difficulty as well. And I don't know who we're going to play. We can play as the Dark Elves, obviously the Wizard Men, or the Rat People. Or we can play one of the original factions and do the whole big world thing. I do like the Vortex element. The Vortex makes... it actually adds a lot to the game. Our main intervention army was destroyed, apparently. I could buy a new one. No, I can't, because four more turns. Okay, well, screw that. Um, these guys didn't want to attack. I might save my city. I'm just going to do some diplomacy really quick. And see if anyone wants to join me. So we need to go diplomacy. Who are we really friendly with? We're really friendly with you. Welcome. Your words Join Confederation. Will be watched with interest. Reject. Okay. Another thing I did learn. All this influence that we have here, we can use this to influence people. I thought it was something that you did in the diplomacy menu. There's a separate thing for it. So we want to influence... You, yes, sir? Yeah, yes, sir. Improve relations. Improve relations, improve relations. Okay. So that will take a bit of time, but eventually we should have relations of 137, which is quite good. How can I assist the um, we could probably give them a gift as well. We be of payments, offer payments, small gift. Most there you go. Now where are we at with you? 147. That might be enough to get them to join us. 
They've got eight regions. That'd be such a time saver. So, in the meantime, we're going to do this battle. Uh, so we'll attack you. Oh, sh I don't want to attack just one army. I want to attack both armies. That's not going to be fun. Um, Pull back. All right, what if we retreat? Champion of the Ever Queen. Got enough move Phoenix movement. If I move to there, Can I offer if I move out of the city and attack, By the gods. that works. So I get the garrisoned army, my main army, and the city garrison against no. I want to attack both of them. Oh, this is so shit. Um, why can't their army, other army, come and help? Is this going to be stupid? Okay, just decline the attack. We'll just do this. Kill them. Whatever, we're just going to do it. Uh, fight the battle. I don't know why it won't let us attack both armies. It's stupid. But um. At least we might get to see the new blood effects. We'll see how we go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna gamble on the magic. Nine. I already had nine. Whatever. Start, start deployment. And... My reinforcements are coming from directly behind them. So we really just want to charge them. My sea guard at the front. Put these guards behind. Archers on the flank. Cav on this flank. My dragon and my eagle. Do I have a moon dragon? Yeah. He's cool. He has Dragon's Breath. That's going to be fun. Artillery on the hill. Both my lords. You're a mage. What have you got? Trans... That's nothing. Wow, you're a really shitty mage. You do nothing. Okay. Well, that's good enough. It's, it's going to be a slaughter. I just want to get rid of, get rid of that. Lock formation. Start battle. Move everyone up. Send the... They don't have archers as Chaos, do they? I mean, I think they might have some cab archers, but they've got nothing great. Bring everything in from behind. Now, my lord is a melee fighter. He's not a magician. Just bring everything behind. Oh, they do have some archers. That's fine. Phoenix flyway. Phoenix over there. You dragon's breath there. See, that's the blood effects. I think. That was a pretty cool attack. It's got 40 second cooldown. This is way too many units to even think about managing. They're going to attack my lord, it looks like. With Cav, that's going to just be bad. Bring the phoenix back, send the dragon. Going to let the dragon use his cooldown. Um, oh, there's a lord who needs to die over there. We've already broken all their melee units. Their warhounds. Got to chase the archers down. Dragon's just sitting here doing his thing. He's going to wait for his cooldown. Phoenix. Where'd that Lord go? He's here. Alright. Let's just watch this. So you, Dragon's Breath there. I mean, that's cool. I think they fixed the blood effects a bit. Not so patchy. Except for that. 
But maybe that's what he looks like. I can't remember. Pretty sure he wasn't that red. Uh, yeah. This will be over in a second. Should probably try and kill as much as possible. But, um, yeah, that wasn't much fun. That was actually pretty boring. Oh, something interesting is happening over here. Come here, dragon. Use your dragon's breath. If they don't break first, they're already broken. Okay, good game. Killed their lord. Done. That dragon is super powerful. I think we need more. Definitely need to change his army composition. Got so too many archers. The Azure have triumphed. I'd almost want the standard archers over the sea guard only because they have better range um, unit replenishment let's just do replenishment cool so we killed one army and the other army withdrew even though the um, other army wasn't even in battle shield against the darkness um Might as well fight this one as well. We've got some more blood effects and stuff. So these guys have just basic Chaos Marauders, nothing to worry about. Lancers, nothing to worry about. Some Chaos Spawn and a Hell Cannon. Nothing to worry about. Let's do this. I'm going to fight the battle. Did a couple of multiplayer campaigns as well. They're really fun. Okay. Um, start deployment. That's plenty of magic. Now, they're going to attack us because we have uh, artillery. Even though they have artillery, they'll attack us. Uh, it's going to put my Sea Guard in front. Take them off skirmish mode. Understood. Melee fighters behind. Archers I should really use the hilltop. But they have cav. I mean, I've got cav. Uh, do that. Do that. The phoenix and the moon dragon can go and destroy the... Actually, the phoenix can destroy the hell cannon. The moon dragon can just sit here. And then my lord and mage can go there. Maybe when the mage gets some upgrades, she gets some better spells. But for now, she has nothing... Alright, I think that's everything. Let's go. Phoenix can go. Bring the dragon up. He can just attack them on the way. Cav on the flank. You do scatter shot. Oh wait, I'm attacking them. But they're, they're going to attack me. Are they? Maybe because I'm out of range, they're not. Okay, let's do this. Get that hell cannon. Let's just hit it with a phoenix. We might be able to decrew it. Bring up the dragon. You could just. Wow, you can fire that from a long way away. Oh, look at the damage it did. Okay, Hell Cannon's decrewed. Go and save my Phoenix. Fly away, Phoenix. Oh, he's going to need some help. Dragon's going. Both the cab units are going. Seaguard are moving up. One cab unit can intercept them. 
The other one can go back here. Dragon's going in. Uh, this is a mess. Huge mess because I was busy. I want to look at this. Let's screw it. Let's just look at this. My poor Phoenix. Phoenix has rebirth as well. Here comes the cab. Run away, Phoenix. I'll probably win that fight, to be honest. Over here, Chaos Spawn got shot to death. Got to kill their lord and stuff. Um, yeah. One of my Reaver units got damaged, but he probably not going to use the Reavers in the next army. I'm going to get my Dragon in the air again. His, his cooldown's probably happened. Can you get in the air? Fly, 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 fly. Yes. Use your fire breath. The Phoenix is going to use its Phoenix bombs. Phoenix bombs are pretty fun as well. Uh, what else has been going on? Not much. Let's watch this combat here. They have cool blood effects. At least units don't go completely red and splotchy. Mm. Getting massacred by my archers. Look at the blood. Uh, where did my dragon go? He's chasing Cav. Interesting. Nothing exciting happening back here, not really. He's got way too many archers for them. Phoenix is going to come back. My wizard should not be in melee. That's a really bad idea. What have you got? Breath. Oh yeah, that works really well. That's a cool spell. Phoenix can dive in on them. I thought that would break their morale. It didn't. This is cool. They all broke. Um, well, we took a huge amount of losses because we were too busy watching, but that was cool. In the battle. And that's the last of the Chaos Armies now. So, our ritual should go through, hopefully. Ancestors be praised. Awesome. I'm getting a banner. I'm going to take the money. My strength. Because why not? Oh, they withdrew, but we can chase them, possibly? Yep. No, we can't. We're out of movement range. That's okay. Take you out of Force March to start with. And we need to start building a new army. So, new army's going to have two Moon Dragons. And what else takes a while? I'd like some Phoenixes. Because we're not going to go with Cav. But we don't really have a lot of Phoenixes. I don't want white lion chasers. I want great swordsmen. And I mean, archers. Mm. I don't know. That extra range is really useful. So. 
But Seaguard, I mean, obviously can defend themselves a little bit better. Melee, they got really good, they got double the melee defense. So maybe we'll just stick with Seaguard. As, uh, we'll just use them as archer units. We'll get six units of Seaguard. Uh, shielded Seaguard. Oops. And... Then, yeah. For my queen. I mean, those cav would be pretty good as well. Vanguard deployment, very fast. Far, fire whilst moving. They'd probably be awesome units. Let's go wait for these buildings to finish, because if I build these buildings, I believe I can get Sword Masters of Hoth. So that's what I really need, urgently. More. Uh, so we could get Silver Helms. Oh, maybe we could get some Silver Helms. Let's get some of them. I have no idea what I'm doing, clearly. Apart from that, I guess now we... You wanna, do you want to join me yet? What's the wrong button? Yes, sir. Uh, oh, I haven't even done an end turn yet. Okay. Well, who are you? You're my mage who does nothing at the moment. Soul Quench. It's magic missile. Why couldn't I have that? Or use that? Tempest. Uh, Vortex. I kind of want that as well. Alright, so the mage has some better spells. Another upgrade for my leader. Let's do... Recruitment cost. So that's maxed out. Do an end turn. I want to keep attacking as well. I don't want to stop attacking. But if we hurry, we might be able to get this... Ritual over and done with... Is that army gonna go? No way. Mission failed. What? Oh. Ready for duty. Blah blah blah. Ready for duty. Okay. Auto resolve this. Let's take some money. Okay. Puppets of chaos are dead. Okay. Really, I'm just going to wait now for this ritual to finish, just in case something else pops up. So I'll keep buying whatever I need to buy while I'm waiting. This is all good. I mean, I might as well max that out. There's no harm in that. Two turns. Uh, I don't know what to do. Let's just get through these end turns. You're my... Oh, you're the one garrisoning. Let's do... Public Order. Um, my Wizard. Do Tempest 2. End turn. For my Queen. Are the Moors, so the rat people, started doing their ritual as well? Right performed by some of the wizard factions. Okay. One turn away before we are done. Defender of Ultwa. Great, and we're one turn away from this. So let's just get through this. Um, you don't need orders, really. I mean, nah, you're good. One turn away from the dragons. I might as well recruit something else while I'm here. Something I want, to be honest. Um, 
just want some of these silver helms and I want some phoenixes to be honest so skip that another end turn All these people we need to go to war with. Still need to slow the Druki down a bit. Honestly, I don't want to have to go and invade the Druki. I'd rather go and invade the lizard people or the rat people. I reckon it'd be more interesting. But yeah, invading, fighting more elves. It's going to be pretty boring. We've already fought more than enough elves around here. How? Oh, cool. Cinematic. Finabar the Seafarer, the reigning Phoenix King, was called upon to reveal the second shard of the Star Crown. The wave fragments are cast so the tides move at the Seafarer's command. The living king has done his part. Now it is time to evoke the royal spirits of old. Okay, something to do with spirits. Um, what are we going to go with? Ten influence for... Or happy populace. No, let's do ten influence. Got a new trait, that's awesome. What were the benefits of doing that? I don't know. I don't even know what we got for that. But anyway, the next one is at 2,200. So we've got to get about another 1,000. Uh, should I spawn a intervention army on the rats? Probably not. That's just a waste of money. They're so far behind, it doesn't even matter. Princess. And my buildings are done, so I need to recruit my new army. Swordmasters of Hoeth are very expensive units, but they are very good. Even though they're not shielded, they have deflect shot, so they just... I don't know, deflect a shot. Well, we can do five at a time. Probably want to get... Um, probably want to do that, and then... Even though I was going to use Phoenixes, I can still use Phoenixes instead of Cav. I don't know, they each have their roles. Cav are really good at, obviously, anti-infantry. But if you're going to be doing city assaults, you just want flying things. So I guess we're just going to go with some phoenixes. The frost phoenix is the older version of the flame phoenix, which is why it's more expensive and better. It's got armor. It's got 80 armor. You have to just go with that. It doesn't have rebirth, but it's got 80 armor. So, four phoenixes, two dragons, six melee guys, and that's enough because there's going to be one wizard. So, four turns and that army will be ready. In the meantime, this army is going to continue. And we're going to head somewhere. just want to see how diplomacy is going with these guys. Yes, sir. Behold the phoenix court in all its Come on, join confederation. What if I give you lots of my money? I give you all of my money. Modern. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I'm giving them money and they're going to join me. Unwise. Uh, okay. Um, payments. Offer payment. Give you a medium gift. Very well. I probably won't even do anything. We'll be up with that. 188. Okay, so a couple more turns cool. and they should join us. That's a lot of territory for free. Shield against the darkness. I guess we're going to war with these guys now. So let's just head that way. When this other army's ready, we'll bring it over. I should be able to afford it. Hopefully. Actually, we're going to be cutting it pretty close. Um, you have an upgrade. Upgrade that. Okay. 
Okay. One more end turn. And then that's probably where we'll end it for today. We got to see the new blood effects. Um, we've got a new army being built that's actually going to be useful. And, yeah. I don't know. Cav are good. Are here, but Cav here. can't attack cities, so it makes your army limited in what it can do. Even though the Phoenixes probably aren't as good as a Cav unit, the Phoenixes can still catch a Cav unit. And then... If you catch the enemy cab unit, it takes them out of the game, so it balances, in my opinion. We'll see. I've got some quests as well. I should look at those. Search begins. Um, search something for treasure and you get six wave fragments. Recruit a lord and you get four wave fragments. It's not even worth it. Confederation. Order of Law Masters Citadel of the Dusk. Nice. Another faction destroyed. Ritual completed. Plus four public order. All provinces. Alright. I guess we get a war with these guys now. Tylenok. How can I Where are you at? 140. I don't know. If I do a military alliance, I... Don't know if I can still do. I assume I can do a confederation. If you wish. Well, yeah, we started at 140, but we'll go into 190, and we can still do a confederation. So a few more turns, and that might work. As for Tylenok, your you have 21 settlements. Oh wow, you're huge. Yeah, we're gonna kill you. Alright, four more turns until that army's done anyway. This army, even though it's not perfect, can do its job. So, declare war on Tarlock. I... Call my allies to help. No. Because I don't know if they're going to. That's an easy auto resolve. Um, Claim anything of value. Wow, we get sack it for 4,000. It's going to occupy. Got that. And then burn that, burn that. And then the next settlement is just further up the line, so we'll continue north. Okay. Upgrades for you. I mean, what else have we got? Attrition, magic item drop chance, research rate plus 15%. That's pretty cool. What's this one? Minus 8% upkeep for all armies, hero action chance. I mean, that's kind of worth doing. But I suppose we should do some other stuff. I get a, I think I can get a horse, but I don't really want a horse. Ward of this, missile resistance, missile damage, speed, no, I don't need any of that. I guess we just start upgrading our character. Oh no, we can upgrade our armies a bit more. So, stand your ground. No, it's another ability. Extra armor for dragons. Do that. That'll help our dragons. You can't go anywhere, so we'll just do another end turn. And... I guess we'll call it a day after that. We'll probably get some more events to give us some more wave fragments, hopefully, and speed up the game. Kind of just going to push and try and get this one done. I'm, I'm enjoying it, but I really want to do something a little bit more challenging, I think. There's no reason we can't start a second campaign, I guess. We shall see. So, the Druki just completed their ritual. They're not very far behind at all. Next time we might slow them down with a couple more intervention armies. Um, just, just because I don't want to go and attack them. I want to attack... I really want to attack the rat people. But we'll see. There's a lot of pirates around that city. But they're all very weak. Can 
Come on, you know you want to join me. Join me and I'll kill the pirates. Actually, God, if I... Well, no, if I join them, if we merge, then the pirates won't be at war with me, so that's okay. What the hell are the pirates doing? They're taking like two steps and stopping. Okay, thank god that's over. Okay, population surplus. Yeah, blah blah blah. Rights expired. Oh yeah, I have all this as well I need to upgrade. Oh god. I forgot about up here. What do I even want to build? I need a, do I have an Elven, Elven Embassy? Probably not. Uh, you've all got garrisons. I don't want to build any military buildings. I probably should build that. Library of Hoeth. Is this the only place that can build the Library of Hoeth? White Tower of Hoeth. Strategic location, special importance. I think that's the only place I can build a library of Hoeth. No, because you've got ancient waystone, blah 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 blah. Yeah. You're the only one who can do this, so you need to do this. What is it gives me? Mage, Lights, Life, Lord Master of Hoeth. Sword Master of Hoeth. What the hell's a Lord Master of Hoeth? Uh hero it's an just an agent. Interesting. I'm going to build that. It costs seven and a half grand, which is quite expensive. This army is going to continue north, and I better end it. Like, this army is pretty much entirely archers. Princess. Two, three turns until that army is good to go. This is your last chance to join me. You need me? Greetings, fellow Asur. What brings you here? Payments. Offer payments. I mean, it's not as much. Moderate. They want to join... Want me to join war against the scaling? No. Certainly not. I'll do that later. Mission issued. Recruit the following moon dra- I have like 30 bloody moon dragons. Oh god, I don't want to build another one. Screw it. So, um, we're going to end it here. And then we're just going to continue pushing north. Hopefully we get a really good battle with these guys. Um, yeah, that's the plan at the moment. Attack Talanok, try and in integrate this other army. And we'll work our way north. After that, we're going to go after probably the rat people or the lizard men. Uh, I think the lizard men are further ahead, so we'll probably attack the lizard men. The clan of the Moors are out of the game already. Alright, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.